Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A42, and today I will show you how to transfer files from an SD card to a phone and vice versa. And starting off, we will need to open up the files app, which is located in the Samsung folder. There we go. So it's exactly called My Files here. Once you open it up, you should see two storages. So you have the internal storage and the SD card. So you can tap on either one of them. Now I'm going to quickly look where my files are, and there they are. So, briefly, um, there's a couple important folders, I would say, uh, where you will find majority of your content. Uh, number one is the DCIM folder. Uh, it will contain screenshots, as you can see right here, along with camera, which will have all the pictures and videos that I have captured with the device. And then you also have the downloads folder, which will contain anything that you have downloaded on this device, either through a web browser or email. Uh, whatever you have downloaded, it will be right in here. And then um, I have basically every other folder here as uh, usually empty, unless you have downloaded some kind of application that will save it directly to it. But then that is really dependent on an app. And sometimes they also create their own folder. So you will need to look for that one. These are just the uh, general folders where uh, without changing anything, uh, that's where the phone says things like I just mentioned. So once you find your files, what you want to do is select them and the way you do it is once you have it, as you can see I have three photos here, you basically, oops, you basically hold it like so. As you can see it becomes selected and then you can tap on additional ones to select more. You also have the option to select all of them right over here. or if you want to keep it organized, I can also select the entire folder. So it's in the camera and there we go. So by selecting a folder, this will also include everything that is in here. As you can see, three items, which is the three photos that are inside of it. Now, whichever way you do it, it's completely up to you. It's more of a conveniency kind of thing. So once it's selected, you have the two options right at the bottom, move or copy. And depending on which one you choose, uh, it will have a little bit of a dif different outcome. If you choose to move it, those files will be completely removed from where they are right now and move to the new location of your desired. Uh, well, if you go with the copy option, it will just duplicate them and move the new folders to, uh, to the new location while keeping the old ones where they are right now. So I'm going to go with move. And once you select one of the options, you can back out. And also top right over here, I believe. There we go. So once you stop it, uh, you can then choose a different storage. Uh, you can either move it somewhere else on your phone or move it to things like SD card if you want to, which that's what I'm going to choose. And in here, move it, either drop it right in the SD card anywhere you want, or by basically navigating into a folder, as you can see, and moving it here. And now we're already on the SD card, so I don't really need to navigate back in here. Let's go to downloads, and as you can see, there are the three photos. Now, because I also chose to move them, they will not be present on the internal storage anymore. So if we go in here, as you can see, there is only a screenshots folder left. And that is basically how you remove any kind of file from one location to another. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.